Hello, Gemini. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fine. Um, welcome to your video. This is going to be Gemini single, okay? I'm going to shuffle in some cards here. We're going to see what the angels got for you, Gemini singles, please. If this does resonate, you guys, remember to like the video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. If it doesn't resonate, don't worry about it. It was just not your day, okay? It's not going to resonate every time. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. All right, so let's see what the angels got for you, Gemini. All right. Ooh, okay. Gemini singles, please. What's going on for Gemini singles? Angels. Do we have for Gemini's today? Wow. <laughs> well, Gemini, be prepared for a return, okay? Your past always lingering. Mm-mm-mm. This is someone that you walked away from. This is somebody that, you know, you just, you were tired of, okay? You were tired of this person and their bullshit, okay? And you walked away from them, and now they're returning, okay? I feel like there's a lot of things going on that you don't know about this situation. A lot of secrets being held. A lot of you holding back your emotions. They're holding back their emotions, trying to... um. You know, protect the way they feel. They don't want to get hurt here. This is what I'm seeing. But you had to pack your bags and go because this person was very annoying and very, um, they don't have any confidence in themselves. So they're tracking you, okay? Tracking you. This is what I'm seeing. And you're like, wait, why are you tracking me? You don't do nothing for me. Why are you trying to find out who I'm with, where I'm at? You know, because this person still want a future with you, unfortunately, okay? They still want a future with you. They're lingering. They want to give you something, but they're not sure of how you're going to take it, uh, if it's going to last, because they're not even sure what happened. I don't feel like this person even learned from the mistake that they have made, but I'm seeing them coming back into your life after you being so upset, um, trying to find your way in this world, a place for you, and they're trying to just come back into this, this, this circle, your circle. You know, I feel like it's all about you working really hard. I'm seeing you working really hard here. You could be messing with a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, or even Virgo, okay? I'm seeing Pisces as well, Scorpio. That's coming up. We have Leo, um, Sag, and Sag. What am I, what am I saying? <laughs> Aries, Leo, and Sag. Oh my God, I'm so lost, y'all. Looking at these damn cards. Okay, tell me more, angels. But I feel like you are saying like this relationship is a burden to carry, honey. And you had to get yourself up out of here, okay? Look at that. Huh. You guys still thinking about each other. This is a person that you're still thinking about. You have a lot of emotions tied up in this person. Yeah, soulmate confirmed. Wow, soul tie connection, y'all. Some of you were married. Don't have to be, but this is what they how they look at you. They probably call you wifey or hubby. <laughs> oh my god. This is what I'm hearing. So you're putting an end to this um relationship. You're you're making yourself happy because this person doesn't want to choose you. So I'm getting like there is someone else coming up in this reading. Like this person is juggling and they're taking their lovely time not choosing you. Even though they make you feel like you are everything to them. This is what I'm hearing. Like you are everything that they ever wanted. But, and they really love being around you. Honestly, you know, they love being around you. But they're just not moving fast enough for you. Look at the chariot. And then we have the two of pentacles. You know, this person is definitely just not moving fast enough. It's like they know they have to make a decision for you, but they're stuck. They're stuck with somebody else or stuck in a situation, maybe drugs, drinking, sexual addiction, y'all. But they have a lot of love for you. You have a lot of love for them. This is someone from your past. You're not together. If somebody might want to come back, you're waiting for them. But you know all is not well. 
with this situation. Like, you don't have no faith, no hope in this situation. Like, you don't feel good about this. I think you should trust your intuition, okay? If you don't feel good about this, you just don't feel good about this. I'm getting Capricorn energy as well, you guys. Aquarius, for some of you, everybody and their mama is here. Okay, gems? Everybody and their mama. In this reading, it's like all the energies are like, I don't need to be in the scene. I need somebody to see to tell my person what's happening. Like, oh my goodness. I have so much energies in here. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Wow, somebody is prego. Yeah, somebody is prego. Somebody had an, uh, a miscarriage for some of you. Okay, definitely trying to get pregnant here. Be very careful. There's going to be an offer as well. This is what I'm seeing. This person coming to you. Okay. Um giving you an offer that you don't feel very good about with this ace of wands okay being next to it somebody's putting the end for a relationship <sighs> Oof. and some of you are taking this offer because this ace is like two ace one is up one is down and one day gonna reading y'all with this offer, you know what I'm saying? It's like they're telling me like some of y'all taking it, some of y'all are not taking it. You know, you don't feel good about this cup, this new beginning with this person, you're not taking it. There's a way too many devastation here, okay? There's a lot of embarrassment. Again, we're talking about the embarrassment. This person has like not even taken responsibility of what they have done. I'm seeing the justice here as well. Some of y'all might be going through court issues. This person is going to give you what you want. They're not going to fight with you in court. They're going to, at first, they might do all of this, but I just feel like they're not going to do it for long, okay? And here they go again with this offer. Oh my God. <laughs> this offer, now they're giving you a bigger offer, which is the King of Cups, a more stable offer. It's better than the Knight. And then I'm seeing balance. They're trying to bring balance and prayer into this you know the spiritual aspect opening the spiritual doors trying to have this work they're trying to change you're trying to give back they're trying to help you help them but i'm seeing like this ten of pentacles is in reverse it's like this i feel like y'all need to see somebody honestly you can't do this by yourself like this person is trying to change and do this and make this work but something is holding back something is saying like i just want to type this ten of pentacles i don't have no faith because somebody clearly wants this happy ending right here with this Ten of Cups. They really, really feel like there's a future here. But with the star being right below it, it's like somebody lost faith, Scorpio. Not Scorpio, Gemini, sorry. Gemini! <laughs> Don't come for me. So, what is going on here? It's like, I, I feel like this. You do have love for them. I see the Two of Cups here. I see the Six of Cups. It's like you're waiting for them, but y'all in separation. But I feel like it starts with, with an apology, and this person is not giving it. It's like they're just coming back sexually. Very hot for you. Hot like fire. You know what I'm saying? Passionate. Let me see what the angels got. Tell me more, angels. What you want Gemini to know? What you want Gemini to know? Geminis. You see I'm saying, y'all? I'm not saying stuff, y'all. I'm saying Gemini. <laughs> y'all got me messed up, y'all. I already explained that to y'all. What well, the thing is. The thing is. I'll be doing readings for both of y'all. All the day on time. Y'all be confusing me. Okay. So we have com a compromise. Ooh. We have balance. You see what I'm saying? Confirmation. Balance. So you guys are going to try to work on this. The angels are just confirming what the hell I said. Sorry angels. But thank you. Thank you angels. Tell me more y'all. Tell me more, angels. <sighs> Recovery. Y'all need to heal. Y'all need to um, forgive and trust each other again. Because what? If you don't have trust, you don't have communication. Okay? If you don't have communication, you don't have trust. It's a cycle, y'all. Okay? And no relationship is going to make it. Period. All right? What is this? There is something better. Ooh, so the angels are telling you there is something better for you. 
tell me more you're ready oh you're ready for this so those of you who are coming out of this relationship don't think that you are not ready the angels are saying you are okay tell me more tell me more angels <laughs> helpful people so counseling y'all counseling y'all need that oh my goodness this is what i've been i was like look there's a child involved i'm seeing a baby <laughs> the funny thing is i always looked at this card and i never really looked at the baby and now that i'm doing these readings today i'm seeing communication i'm seeing a child i'm seeing counseling y'all gonna be guided yeah y'all need help with this relationship okay period because somebody's stubborn in capricorn like they ain't gonna change and i think that's the problem for you you're like no you need to change the angels are saying no do not make any moves right now tell me more tell me more Ooh, perfect timing okay so there's healing that needs to be done patience that needs to be given this person needs more time you need time there's got to be the perfect time for this to work success wow that's what y'all don't see coming success okay so let's see what the angel's saying let's see what the angel's saying in another deck okay <laughs> let's see what we got coming up I'm like nosy. I want to see. Tell me more, angels. Tell me more. Okay, what is this? Watch your money. Watch your money, y'all. Y'all gonna be broke. Number 13. Don't be buying stuff you can't afford. If you, if you know you ain't gonna have rent money, don't be doing that. Don't be spending your rent money on no, uh, you know, car or something. All right, so you have so many opportunities, but your mental state is all over the place. The angels are saying you need to, you know, get that organized. Be a little bit more organized. Go after what you really want and what you really desire, okay? Um, these are great ideas, okay? But you don't need to be jumping through trying to just, I feel like, you know what? Okay, I got it, I got it. I feel like the angels are telling me, Gemini, that you're just trying something to see if it's going to be successful. They're saying, don't do that, please. Okay, great idea, but do what makes you happy. Okay? All right, you have the yin and the yin. What the hell? The yin yang? <laughs> yin yang, y'all. Let me see what that is. Hold on, hold on. Yin yang, 22. I always see a lot of people use these decks, and I'm like... Girl, I'm a tarot girl. I'm a tarot girl. So y'all gonna see me flipping through this book, okay? <laughs> so listen to your intuition, you guys, okay? Um, and bring some action into your life, okay? Some logic, okay? Trust yourself, yin and yang, okay? Everything that's supposed to be happening is happening for a reason. Number 22, you might see 222 two, two on the clock. Trust it. This is when you need to act the most. You need to go after your dreams and your goals now. You know? Let's see. We have number three, abundance. Look at that. <laughs> abundance is coming your way. Oh, my God. Thank you, Angel. So, I'm hearing that... You're not doing you're doing stuff that could make you money right now, Gemini, not the stuff that you really want to do that's gonna take more time to make money. The angels are saying put your energy into what is really passionate for you, and that is the thing that's not gonna make you money right now. But as you're doing it, you're gonna enjoy it, and that's what's gonna bring the money in for you. Okay, that's what the angels are telling me, y'all. I don't know what that's about, but somebody's doing something to make some easy money. You know, learning how to detach from people, letting, learning how to let go and let God. This is something that you need to work on because all you're thinking about it is a, a abandonment issues. Like this person is leaving you, like you did everything that you can and you're just complaining and telling people about this. Like I said, stop telling people your business in the moon. They're not there for you. Happy family. Let God, let, let go, let God, y'all. You're going to have it all, even if it's not with this person. God is trying to take away the negative and put the positive back into your life. But you're the one holding on to the negative. They need you to let go and let them. The angels, that's what they're saying. You have <laughs> Michael on the back. And I got to go in the book again because I forgot Angel Michael. <laughs> 
don't come for me y'all okay this new this is a new deck yes i know i've been using it for a week yeah your girl been using it for a week and it's like it's still new to her yes period i haven't been i haven't had a chance to really sit down so stability and security Ooh, you guys you see you guys you see how this flows together like y'all thinking about abandonment issues y'all thinking about stability like nothing is stable everything is about to change you don't like change you know you have an attachment issue okay they're saying let go because Angel Michael is going to give you that stability and that security, honey. Look at how sexy that angel is. Honestly, y'all. <sighs> this is what I have for you, <laughs> Gemini's. I hope it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video and give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. But if it doesn't resonate, don't worry about it. And I'll see you guys in your next message. Bye, guys.